Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu has presented the year 2024 budget estimates of 2.2 trillion naira to the Lagos State House of Assembly. Addressing the hallowed chambers, Governor Sonwolu said the 2024 budget was to build on previous years. The day's event kicked off with a review of proceedings of last sitting by the House. It was followed by arrival of Governor Sowunlu at about 1.35 p.m. into the hallowed chambers, signifying full commencement of the day's business. Speaker of the House, Mudashiru Obasa, then announced the return of Honorable Rauf Age Suleiman a member representing Amu Wadofin constituency back into the house. Thereafter, a motion was moved to allow Governor Sawunlu into their midst for the budget presentation. Governor Sawunlu went straight to business. Christened budget of renewal, the governor presented a total size of 2.2 trillion naira to the house. Total expenditure is projected at 1.22 trillion naira, representing 54.4% of the total budget, while the recurrent stands at 1.02 trillion naira, including overhead and personnel costs, as well as recurrent debt service. The state's projected revenue stands at 1.847 trillion naira. This includes internally generated and allocation from the federal government. The governor is hopeful of a positive turnaround from the year 2024 budget. We equally propose a recurrent expenditure of 1.02 trillion, which comprises of total overhead, total personnel costs, and recurrent debt service broken down as follows. Total overhead costs, 527.7 billion. This is made up of overhead, 304. 7 billion subvention 123.01 billion dedicated funds amounting to 100.02 billion personnel costs amounting to 319.23 billion recurrent debt service at 174.94 billion for capital expenditure we propose a total of 1.224 trillion as follows, capital expenditure, 856.38 billion, repayment, 367.89 billion. Sawolo also took time out to highlight the performance of the 2023 fiscal budget. We have delivered several, several thousands of houses to Nagoshias in different parts, including at Ikondo, Ikokushi, Ikonre, Lekki Phase 2, in Koshofe, in Nomole, in Oba, and in Kosijin, in Dagada, in Shokutedo, in Itamanu, and to mention but a few. We are also commencing a conversation and building the proposed Imotawaka city, which is meant to produce about 3,500 new homes, and which will also be supported by market financing. We are also very critical with our MSMEs and startup support. Responding, the Speaker of the House reminded the Governor of the harsh economic realities of the day, stressing that the next year's budget must be tailored towards mitigating the effects. Provision of subsidized school materials should be encouraged. In like manner, raw food mashup, food bring food items from either land should be put into consideration. The government can help subsidize the transportation system this can in turn lead to a crash in the cost of food prices and make them affordable. While we appreciate incremental salary, it is expedient to know that it has always led to inflation. In that case, it has never been led food. Right from that immemorial, we have had cases of salary being increased, but it has usually been counterproductive, as it has never really solved the economic challenges of the masses. 
Obasan noted that it was highly important to apply the right indices to ensure performance that would lift the people out of poverty and reposition the state towards infrastructural growth and renewal. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. The Minister of Trade, Industry and Investment, Doris Nkiruka Anite, faced intense scrutiny on Tuesday from members of the Joint Senate and House of Representatives Committee on Trade, Industry and Investment during a budget defense hearing. The committee extensively questioned the minister's proposal to allocate one billion naira for a trip to Geneva in 2024, a provision that the minister struggled to substantiate. In response to the budget doc document submitted to the committee, members expressed disbelief and outrage at the proposed allocation of 1 billion naira for the Geneva trip. They raised concerns regarding how this substantial expenditure aligned with the core mandate of the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Investment. As per the customary budget defense procedure, the minister was called upon to elucidate the rationale behind the proposed budget and report on the performance of the 2023 budget. Senator Adams Oshumale, representing a do not senatorial district and a former governor, voiced reservations about the planned one billion naira trip to Geneva. What is the balance of trade between Nigeria and China? What is the balance of trade between Nigeria and countries other the European Union? What is the balance of trade between Nigeria and the United Kingdom? Most of our major trading partners. And when I talk about balance of trade, delete oil. No, that one is an international product. So that we can appreciate how much we have gained in terms of ex giving all the money we spent over the years on export promotion and all the institutions we've set up, whether they are banks, they are commission, whatever they are. So it will give us a window whether we are not just throwing money away. We probably have far more institutions whether financial institutions or other commissions, with the one primary objective to promote export. The 2024 budget of the ministry is made up of selected projects and programs designed to stimulate economic growth and national development. These projects and programs are also intended to fast track the attainment of the renewed hope agenda of, in the industry, trade and investment ministry. The ministry remains committed to achieving its vision of promoting economic growth, creating jobs, and generating wealth, as well as formulating and implementing policies and programs that will attract both foreign direct investment and increase the local participation by local industries, boost industrialization, increase trade and exports, and also encourage development of enterprise. Addressing the minister, Senator Shimole accused her of an inadequate effort to in promoting the nation's interest and demanded details of the country's trade balance with other nations. He inquired whether the ministry had formulated strategies to enhance exports and curtail imports, thereby improving the nation's trade equilibrium. There is one major thing that I've seen in all the committees that I've attended, and this is something the Sydney has to look at. Every time Nigeria has to travel, including your ministry, we have we always have the larger delegation of Nigerians to trade missions. Now I see your proposal, you have trade mission in Geneva. And you are going to spend almost over 1.7 billion naira to maintain your Geneva office, which means ideally you have trade experts in that office. And when I used to go to Geneva, where Nigerian ministers call with 30 man delegation, America will use there are trade officers in Geneva to attend those meetings. They are just pure technical people. In Nigeria, the minister will lead the delegation. And by the time you multiply now, rather than, I don't know what the extra code is now, times water zone, whatever it is, you'll find that ministers in trying to help put their people on trips, they don't attend the meetings, and they spend most of that time shopping. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.